fair number of upgrades to talk about on this Monday morning as we get ready for the opening bell, including, Kelly, uh, this upgrade of FedEx out of Deutsche. They go to 318. You know, it's been a series of these upgrades of both UPS and FedEx in the past few days from analysts who are basically arguing it's not too late. Right, Carl. So we were talking at the top of the hour about what's going on with the rotation in the market or what, you know, what the market's kind of telling us about the macro. The FedEx call pretty encouraging. So it's predicated on, on profit margin expansion, basically. I mean, we all know they passed through the surcharges. The analysts there are saying, look, that's going to help them kind of smooth out demand through the holiday season so they won't be having uh, faced with so much of, of this, like, peak rush all at once. It just overwhelms the system. So a lot of this is, is profit margins across a number of different businesses. Interestingly enough, they also talk about how the vaccine itself could have some upside. You know, our reporters have been talking about this, but uh, FedEx, maybe UPS as well, they've been investing in some of these freezer technologies that will literally transport the vaccine. So they see kind of a double upside there um, on the one hand from the surge in e-commerce. Uh, and they mentioned also kind of a, a B2B aspect here that's good for margins as well. And on the other, or at least has lower costs. And on the other side, some upside to the vaccine. Interesting note on UPS as well. When we talked to Arthur Blank, the founder of Home Depot, a couple of weeks ago, you know, Carol Tomei used to be the CFO at Home Depot. Now she's the CEO at UPS. And he talked about how important it was to him to make everybody work in the store. So even while she was CFO, she'd have the apron on and be working the aisles. He told the story how she helped one woman kind of get a wheelbarrow all the way to her house because uh, the woman couldn't do it on her own. So when I look at that UPS call, Carl, I can't help to think uh, about, that, about that anecdote as well. Yeah, uh, Carol's, Carol's amazing. And it's incredible what she's done over there in this short time. But uh, Mike, to Kelly's point, better margins, better B2B mix, uh, sort of flattening costs. And of course, we know about all the surcharges that you and I are going to be paying yeah. this holiday season. For sure. And you know, the other thing about the context when it comes to FedEx is the stock isn't even as high as it traded in early 2018. So it had this really nasty uh, two-year downturn. Uh, I think expectations and, and earnings forecasts got beaten down. It seemed like a value trap for you know, quarters on end. They kept serially disappointing. So then you have this internal restructuring uh, going on just at the time that a lot of the, the tailwinds kick in in terms of, uh, obviously, online delivery and, uh, and, and some of the stuff. Even with B2B, now it's something that's on the come as opposed to something that's just baked in. So it seems like that's the dynamic in terms of uh, people getting more excited about the group.